Moderna Pfizer got the go-ahead. They're looking for details. So what do we know about safety? What's the data telling us there? Well, there are no new safety signals, first of all, meaning that the side effects that were observed were exactly what were expected. The overall majority were mild. So pain at the site of injection, a fever, maybe some uh, some discomfort, but nothing life threatening. Everyone's afraid of the myocarditis and pericarditis that's been observed globally in the um, older population. But none of that was observed for the tested uh, young kids. Welcome news, I'm sure, for many parents. Let's talk efficacy now. How exactly is it determined when it comes to that age group and, and what do parents need to know there? Yeah, it's a strange math that's done to compute vaccine efficacy. In general, you're comparing the number of COVID cases in the control group versus the number of COVID cases in the group that got the vaccination. And so few got COVID overall because of other uh, um, issues and uh, effects in society that it's difficult to compute that number. So a technique used immunobridging is used where you compare the amount of antibody response to what was seen in the older population. And using that sort of hand-waving statistical method, it's assumed that the Pfizer vaccine is about 80% effective and the Moderna between 37 and 50% effective in preventing symptomatic infection. But the ability to prevent hospitalization and death will be significantly higher. You know, what we did hear from a lot of parents who were quite concerned, you know, maybe they had older kids who were able to get the shot, but they still had young kids who might be attending, you know, daycare or even just heading out with their parents. And they were, some of them, anxious to get the shot. Based on the vaccination process with adults and older kids in this country, do we have any idea how soon we could see the go-ahead in Canada? <laughs> Not really, but if I had to guess, I would say somewhere between two to six weeks, probably erring on the earlier side. Uh, I, I know for a fact that we're looking at the data, so there's a lot of pressure on them to make a decision soon, and I expect it to be a positive decision. And I have a child under five, and I'm thinking he'll be able to get vaccinated before the end of July, I hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed there. We still have about a minute left here before we let you go. You know, just on cases we've seen so far in that age group here in Canada, do you think it's important that children get the shot? What are your thoughts there? I do. Now, the risk of a, a small child getting a serious case of COVID is smaller than in the older population, but not zero. We don't want kids ending up in the hospital. The risk of dying is real. So I think the risk of the vaccine is very, very small. The risk of COVID is still large in comparison. So to me, the math is clear. Choose vaccination.